Hi, my name is Ilma, and today I'd like to share my Psalm vlog on Psalm 86, verses 1 to 9. You, O Lord, are good and forgiving. Incline your ear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am godly. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for to you do I cry all the day. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast love to all who call upon you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. Listen to my plea for grace. In the day of my trouble, I call upon you, for you answer me. There is none like you among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like yours. All the nations you have made shall come and worship before you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name. Psalm 86, 1 to 9. The ESV Student Study Bible says that this is an individual lament of David in a situation when, with which a band of insolent men seek his life. It confesses of God's goodness and mercy. He also acknowledges in verses five, in verse five, that his own sins may have contributed to his enemy's plans. I love how David honestly runs to the Lord for help and acknowledging his neediness. His trust in the Lord is astounding, and so is his deep love, knowledge of the character of the God he serves. He is confident that because of God's goodness and mercy, he will deliver him from this man seeking to kill him. His humble heart has never failed to confess and admit his sinfulness. Yet, it also never stopped from depending on God and hoping that God will keep his promise to redeem and protect his beloved faithful servants. Adoration. Praise be to the God who is a good who is good and full of forgiveness. Bless his heart. Confession. Lord, you are the God who saves and graciously grant mercy. Thanksgiving. Thank you for always being there for me, especially when I need protection and deliverance. Supplication. May all God's people have a dependence and confidence in the Lord. Reflection. How can we develop confidence instead of succumbing to fear in times of trouble? What do you think is David's secret in asking boldly the Lord for help? The secret in asking boldly to the Lord for help that David uh, seemed to uh, have the common theme in his psalms is because he has already developed a close intimacy with the Lord since he was a young boy. So when you develop a close relationship that you are constantly with this person daily, regularly, um, you will have the confidence, you will have the that um, that knowledge that this person which you have spent so much time and invested so much time with, knows you and you know him as well or her as well. So in this case, the confidence that comes from David's asking boldly God anything is from the fact that he has had a very, very dependent relationship with the Lord. He serves his master, who is God, and he knows him so well and that he knows that because he is so close to him, he knows that he can depend on God. So I invite you to have a very close relationship with the Lord by investing time in prayer, in study, in seeking to understand him, in seeking to knowing his will, in abiding in him and making him first in your life. Because this is the only way you can have that confidence that you know that you know in your heart that God knows you as well and that God will 
be faithful to give you what you ask from him. Thanks for watching and I hope you're keeping safe and uh, we just had finished Easter. This is the quietest Easter I've ever celebrated and it's good because it gives us time to really reflect on what is important in our lives right now. Thanks for watching. God loves you so much. So do I. Keep safe.